The normal human response to weakness is to see it as less. If I were to tell you right now that I can't see through my right eye, you might assume that that just makes me a little weaker than the average person. But what if I said not being able to see through my right eye made me stronger? What? That's preposterous. <laughs> Typical human behavior suggests that when you're weak, you shouldn't say you are because others might just look down on you. We are constantly trying to be better. We work harder, striving for greatness in most of what we do. So what happens when we come across something we simply can't overpower? Quick tip, every form of sickness is weakness in this context. Now, new age teaching would say, it's all in your mind. The way you think shapes your world. Now, I bet that sounds really good. Wouldn't it be nice if we could overcome all our weaknesses with our mind? In that case, we don't need any of the world's prescription medications. Let's toss that into the trash and use our minds. Then there are some Christians that say, no matter what sickness or weaknesses you have, God wants to heal them all here on earth. I guess someone forgot to tell Apostle Paul because he seemed to have a weakness that God refused to heal. But don't take my word for it. Here is Apostle Paul himself talking about this, which can be found in 2 Corinthians 12, 7 to 10. So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Paul going through pain, asked God to take it away from him. And God's response was, no, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Right now, you might be going through something and you've prayed and you've prayed and you've prayed about it. And it seems that there is no relief in sight. But God is simply telling you, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. What does that even mean? Unlike the world, God sees and accepts your weaknesses and he's telling you I am here to give you strength my strength in the middle of them all your weaknesses have the potential of glorifying God in other words what we believe to be weaknesses today aren't when we allow God's strength to take over in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 5 Paul says on behalf of this man I will boast but on my own behalf I will not boast except of my weaknesses. Paul was not interested in boasting about himself, but he was willing to boast about his weaknesses. Why? Hebrews 11, 33 to 34 talks about men like Gideon, Samuel, Samson, David, and all the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weaknesses, were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Their strength was not of them, it was of God. They all have remarkable stories because God took their weaknesses and transformed them into vehicles that gave him glory. I recently saw a video of a man who was dying of cancer and he could hardly speak, but he spent a few minutes encouraging people not to lose faith in God. He kept saying, God is a good God and I felt myself being encouraged by a man who was literally on his deathbed. God's strength was shown brightly in this man because although he was dying, he still had so much confidence in God. The sort of confidence that most of us who are healthy don't even have. Then there's the story of Nick Vujvic, who was born without limbs and this man has somehow become a world-renowned minister inspirational speaker, author, and radio personality. If anyone on God's green earth has an excuse to wallow in his weaknesses, this guy does. In conclusion, no matter how painful your weakness is, understand that God has a purpose. You might not see the plan, but trust that he's in control. 
Remember, in all circumstances, give thanks. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 If he has allowed you to go through it, understand that his grace is sufficient to see you through. If we were strong, there would be no need for his strength. So rejoice knowing that you're being empowered by the author of the universe. I don't understand how people can struggle with humility. It makes absolutely no sense. Take me as an example. I am a humble.